what is Malchiot, Zichronot, and Shofarot? And what do they have to do with Rosh Hashanah? Fantastic question. Malchiot, Zichronot, and Shofarot refer to the three central blessings that are recited at Musaf of Rosh Hashanah. Just to give you a bit of background, a normal Amidah standing prayer is divided up into three portions. The first three blessings are known as Birkar HaShevach, praising God. The final three is called Hodayah, giving thanks to God and thanks for the gifts that we have. The middle section during the week is what is called Bakashot, in which we ask God for things, for wisdom, for forgiveness, for health, etc. On Shabbat and Yom Tov, that middle section is removed and replaced with a prayer with one central prayer, which focuses on the nature of that particular day. If it's Shabbat, we talk about the Kedushat Shabbat, the holiness of Shabbat, and why we keep Shabbat. If it's Yom Tov or Rosh Chodesh, the theme of prayer revolves around Shabbat Yom Tov or Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Hashanah is unique, and that, that middle section is replaced not both by one blessing, but by three, Malchiot, Zichronot, and Shofarot. For these are the three symbols or three by messages or central messages of the day. Malchiot means kingship. And built into this uh, section of the Amidah, we have 10 verses talking about God as king. The idea of Rosh Hashanah is that God is crowned king of the world on this day. And the sounding of the shofar, heralding the, like a trumpet, heralding the arrival of the king and the coronation of the king, is the themes of Malchiot. Zichronot refers to God, uh, ask God to remember our, our past. Remember the kindness he displayed to Noah. Remember the, uh, the dedication and sacrifice of Avram and Yitzchak. And because of that, remember us and, pray and, and judge us from a position of mercy. And thus the sound of the shofar is there to remind Hashem of the uh, dedication and commitment of Avram and Yitzchak. And may he uh, have the same uh, connection to us. And the, fire in the third section, known as Shofarot, are ten verses which refer to the historical sounds of the shofar, the sound of the shofar that was heard at Mount Sinai, the sound of the shofar when we exile, when we are returned, when we will be returned from the exile. The sound of the shofar is the call of Jewish history, and thus the uh, the third central feature of the day. So Malchiot, Zichron, and Shofarot refer to the three central pillars of the philosophy and ideas of Rosh Hashanah. Wishing you a Gamar Khatima Tova.